Hello, this is Tony Montez, that is our tech. And once again, here we got a simple way of removing a camera head from your push rod. So we call this the wet end. So we have a wedge, just wedge it right in there. Not a screwdriver. Bring it down. If you have a technician, have him turn the spring this way and then you just drop it. And then lefty loosey, righty tighty. So here we're going left. You always turn this, give it some, when you see the safety cable, give it some slack. You have it out. Remember, same thing like the iPhone, charging and taking the plug when you're done charging your phone, you just pull. Always pull. And then again, you follow the lead. Here we go, right back in there. And you pull. So here's a perfect sample of a spring that needs to be replaced, damaged. So this had intermittent because it got snagged and it damaged the uh, short coil. So same thing, you're gonna remove that. Like I said, use your screwdriver. Thank you. Hello, this is Tony Montes, and this is Hard Tech. And as you've seen in the previous videos, we show you how to remove a camera, a spring, or a transmitter. Now, once you have your camera removed, what you want to do is like go right up to your power supply, which is any kind of uh, monitor you might have. You'll see the bull nose, female insert to your male insert camera head, and just plug it right in. Hello, this is Tony Montez, that's our tech, and once again, here we go. Many people just send in their camera heads, but I noticed that when they come back in for a kink, they didn't put the spring on correctly. So this is a video to show you how to do it. You put the spring back on, and then once you receive your camera head in the mail that we refurbished for you, you bring up the transmitter, pop it out like this, back in, and then you turn this one, two three and then put in the camera turn it two three then look at your safety cable and there it is see nice and straight then you turn your spring one two three camera one time this way pop it in and perfect look at that you don't want to choke your transmitter because on a pull you're going to cut it safety cable can cut your transmitter so there so it's like perfect on both sides. Hello, this is Tony Montez. That is our tech, and this is how you remove a transmitter from your push rod. Just like anything else, ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. And always remove it like plugging in your iPhone to charge. Never twist, it's just like plugging in an iPhone. Needle noses, if you have them, right in there. And then same thing, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Drop the spring shell. Unwind. It's just in a little center pocket. Just goes in. And now, close it back up and wait for your transmitter to return from repairs. Thank you. Test that is our tech and this is how you test a transmitter. So here we go, we got the camera head. We're gonna line it up. Line it up, as you can see. And turn your power supply, this is your monitor, which is a CS10 or same thing, the bull nose is right there. There's a transmitter, there's your signal. So it's working. Now sometimes this, now sometimes if you don't get a signal and you say, why is it my transmitter? If this is broken, if the transmitter knob is broken, you simply unplug it 
plug it back in and that should trigger your transmitter to turn on. This is pretty much just a little shock that exceeds it and it turns it off and on. But since this is broken, people might think that the transmitter is not working anymore. Well, simply bypass that by doing this and plugging it back in. Thank you very much. This was Tony Montez at SSR Tech. Hello, this is Tony Montez at SSR Tech and this is how you put a spring on. Where if you get back your camera, let's say you just send your camera head to us to get it refurbished. Then we send it back to you. You put the spring on. Down. Spring up the bolt will not do it again.